This part's the in cab and the brake test. You got about 10 minutes to do your out of cab, your in cab, and your brake test. So we're going to do the brake test. There's four parts to the brake test. You got the air leakage rate test, the static brake test, low air warning test, and uh, spring brake test. So make sure you got over 100 psi. We got 125 psi right now, which is great. So what you're going to do before you start this test is make sure you put your truck in gear. You're going to keep it from rolling on your road test. If you roll out way on that road test, you're going to get a dangerous act and fail. So call out the test that you're going to do first and then do it. So the first test I'm going to do is my air leakage rate test. Okay, after my initial loss, 10 pound loss, I'm not going to lose more than 3 psi. Okay, turn the vehicle off. After it's in gear, put it back to the on position. Okay, then you're going to disengage your brakes. Again, after my initial 10 pound loss, I'm not going to lose more than 3 psi in a minute. There you go. Here's your initial loss. You're going to be going back, back and forth between your watch and your gauges. You don't want after your initial 10 pound loss, you don't want to lose more than 3 psi in a minute. Okay? Wait till the tester tells you to go to the next test or that minute's passed. Next test I'm going to do is the static brake test. I'm going to apply pressure to my brake after my initial loss. I'm not going to lose more than 4 psi in a minute. Make sure you're holding the brake down the whole time. And there's my applying my brake. So my initial loss. Don't want to lose more than 4 psi in a minute. Okay, next test I'm going to do is my low air warning test. At about 60 psi, I'm going to get an audio and a visual. Fan your brakes down until you get it. Wait till they stay solid. And there you go. Again, that's the low air warning test. Last test you're going to do is the spring brake test. Just tell them between 20 and 40 psi, I'm going to get my spring brakes are going to apply. In turn, these knobs are going to pop out. So. Fan it right on down. There you go. Should be it. They're going to tell you then, go ahead and start your vehicle up and do your uh, in cab. Physically make sure that these are both out. Okay. Anytime you start your vehicle, make sure she's in neutral. Get the off position. Turn to the on position, let your gauges set, and then turn it over. Right. Then you're going to do your in cab. Hands out, you're pointing to your mirrors. Mirrors properly adjusted, no cracks or damage. Let your hands fall to your steering wheel. Steering wheel, no more than two inches of play. Call out everything on the steering wheel, be it your city horn, your air horn working. Okay. Hand falls to the left, right to your turn signals. Left turn signal works, right turn signal working, four ways working. Okay, done with that, you're pretty much pointing at your gauges. Water gauge, volt gauge, oil gauges are all working, fuel gauge is working. Air pressure right now is at about uh, 30 psi and building. Okay, right to your windshield wipers, put your defrosters on. Put your hand over the defroster, defroster working. After that, just call out your emergency equipment. Got a fully charged 5EC fire extinguisher to my left. Three reflective triangles under the bunk. Accident, accident reporting kit and spare fuses are in the glove box. That should be it. So all together, that should take about five minutes to do.